What's up, friends? Welcome back to Dranglick. Let's continue our journey. This time we're going down the Majula Pit, but I'm gonna have to pop some souls to buy the cat ring. Uh, I'm gonna have to use about five or so of these. Uh, pop a couple of these just on the safe side. That'll be plenty. Undead, are we? Hi, Shakwar. Well. Yeah, yeah, so, I know. Ooh. You're a cat. I smell good. Cause you're a cat. And you like to eat dead people. Thanks for the ring. Okay, down we go. A lot of people have trouble with this drop sometimes. I learned how to do it a long time ago. It's fairly simple, really. Um... I'm just gonna go straight to the rotten, but we can we can finish up with uh, the rat vanguard or whatever it's called, the rat boss in the Grave of Saints. All right, this is probably the trickiest part. Ugh, there we go. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a bone dust down here. What's that thing? Oh. Let's see, we've got... Crystal Lizard. Uh-oh. Maybe shooting it wasn't the best idea? Oh, I got it just in time, but it fell. That's fine. I'm going down there anyway. Ash Knuckle Ring. Really useless, never used it. I don't know why I picked it up. Bring on the... The boomers. I know there's more than that. No? I guess not. They used to come from both sides. Great heal. Yeah. Sublime bonus. Well, I don't know why they're always guarded by these guys. Hell yeah, one-shotting with the backstabs. That's gonna be nice for the castle. Bone dust! Yes. Okay. You know, I really, really, really miss the rusted iron ring. Alright, let's drop. Let's go quick. Oh, I did it not the not quick way. Get down there. Means I have to use this stupid ladder. There. I missed an effigy up there. Dang it. Because I'm going too quick. But it's fine. If I want to join the Brotherhood of Blood, I'm going to need this. And I am going to want to join the Brotherhood of Blood at some point. Definitely. Which reminds me, I skipped that boss a while ago. It'll be really easy now. The chariot. Oh, I can see torches way in the distance. How about that? The gutter. I am not going to spend a lot of time here. <laughs> this is one of those places where I just run through because it's kind of pain in the ass. So, if you wish to make this short, come with me, friends. Go straight. Bank right. And make the jump. Pray that you don't get a baby jump. Oh, what you got for me? Torch. In here. Jump again. And now we're at the bonfire. How about that? Pretty sick, huh? Fuck the gutter. <laughs> That's how I do it every time. <laughs> Unless there's something here that I need to grab, which my mind is drawing a blank on things that are useful in this area. You can get the like a giant club here in the chest. Oh man, I'm about to get a giant stack of life gems. Gotta watch out for these guys though. Ow. They're uh, dark. Weapons are very damaging. 
Life gem times, oh, it's 20? Oh, well, that's fine. Great. I usually just roll through these. It's supposed to do damage to your stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. Unless you're wearing, like, cloth or just something really super fragile, you don't really need to worry about it. Otherwise, just, you know, throw a firebomb or something. Black Gulch. Another hated place. I actually, uh... I need to go off of my normal path to grab the great magic weapon spell. So, let's get that real quick. Ow. Probably gonna get poisoned. Hopefully not. Ah, I was right there. Shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. No! There we go. Dude scared me. Ow! I'm hit the bonfire. Oh, I need like... A couple more intelligence to use this. Soon, very soon. Very, very soon. After this fight. Alright, we need to talk to Lucatil. Down here. And even if you don't care about Lucatil, I find this to be... If, if you don't know the speedrun strat of just like running through along the edge and dodging all the stuff... Oh. This is the best way. Mm. Lucatil, what, what's My wrong? My thoughts... are very... scattered. Hold fast, Lucatil. What? Dude... I'm talking to Lucatil. What is this curse? The question rings in my mind, but I haven't the focus to answer it. Loss frightens me no end. Loss of memory, loss of self. If I were told that by killing you, I would be freed of this curse, then I would draw my sword without hesitation. It won't help. I Trust me. I'll come back anyway. It doesn't matter. To exist. Why? Why do I we have this? Anything. Anything at all for this. It shames me, but it is the truth. I understand your fears. I share them myself. Sometimes I feel obsessed with this insignificant thing called self. Even so, I am compelled to preserve it. What drives us to this end? I wrong to feel so. Surely you do the same for my shoes. Perhaps. I couldn't say for sure. Maybe we're all cursed. Maybe. From the moment we're born. Maybe. I love that dialogue right there, but I'm just like super nervous right now because of this invader. <laughs> This is probably safer to me to just chill here. If I had a seat of a tree of giants, I would totally use it. Let me see. I need to change my ring back to uh, what goes here. I don't remember what ring goes here. Oh, yeah, my soul ring. Oh, look, he's poisoned and he's up there. Hi. Are you having fun invading on here? What are you uh, healing yourself with? If he drops down, I'm going to just push him off right immediately. Let's let's just like see if he comes down. Hey dude, do you know about this area down here or what? I can hear my heart beating. Who is more patient, him or me? Still waiting. Oh, they left. Ding. Impatient. He didn't... What, do you not know about this? 
Are we down here? Guess not. This attack is just so good. That arc. The arc on this is just like almost 360 degrees. Meow. Get wrecked, worm. Oh, now it's the NPC. Hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Come on. <laughs> My god, the, the HP on this guy. You like your big axe there? You have no poise. Wow, I'm surprised they didn't hit me. I just kind of striked it just barely. What you got? Oh, Ormus Great Shield. Nice. I'm kind of glad I didn't knock him off then. And of course, they had to add this friggin' branch of your uh, petrified thing here before the bonfire. Normally, I just run straight through and hit the bonfire up. But, uh, if you have one of those face eaters... Whoa. If you have one of those face eaters on your, uh, tail, uh, it can be a little stressful. <laughs> to say the least. Lockstone. I got plenty of those. All right. Time to fight the Rotten and summon Lucatiel for the last time. Uh, we've had great success with Luke on all of her boss fights, which is great. You only need to do like um, two or maybe three successfully to complete her quest, but um, I think we've already fulfilled those requirements, but let's go ahead and have her tr try to help us out in this one too. And it can actually be kind of a pain in the ass because she can get poisoned by these. I'm gonna take these out. Oh, there's another woodland child. What the hell? And the uh Ow. Wow, the damage on that sucks. There we go. And the, uh, the area up here is, um, the boss... What am I trying to say? The boss arena is filled with pools of lava, and... Lucatiel has a bad tendency to stand in them sometimes. Not Nito! Or, I like to call him Mito. Ow. Wow! Oh my god! That was fucking embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. Okay, let's try this again and not panic roll three times in a row. That's better. Ow. I can't get my souls because he's sitting on them. It's not like I had much in there. Oh, what? I wasn't able to back roll twice. There we go. No problems. There you go. Except for that. Never mind that, though. Bye, Lucatil. Have a good one. We'll meet again. Uh, oh, no bone dust. A couple of spices, though. Hmm, interesting. Ah, you know what I need to do? Whoa, fuck! God damn it, Aldia! Every time! You big, ugly truck. What do you want? Am I on the wrong side? <laughs> Base is over here. Hard to tell with you. Oh. 
accept the fate of your ilk and face the trials that await you. Hamilus, you have already joined the Crestfallen. <laughs> Am I tripping balls or am I really seeing this? Dude, that's what I'm doing. Almost. Bye. You'll scare the shit out of me then as well, I, I'm quite sure, as always. Bye-bye now. Alright, what I need to do is... Um, I need a key. Oh yeah, it's down here. I need to get the key to talk to Dark Diver Grandal. Oh no! <laughs> I live! I ha- uh, <laughs> my head! Bastard. Alright, just follow the message. Follow the message into the dark. Hidden area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't want to roll on landing. Alright. Now we gotta kill some motherfucking giants. These guys are not fun to fight. Uh, poison is very helpful on these guys. If you have poison throwing knives, poison arrows. Shit. Uh, where's the room? Find the room. Uh. <laughs> Time to be a turtle. These guys' attacks are just have such huge hitboxes that linger, it's just like really hard to dodge them. Except when he does that and just apparently misses me entirely. That's cool. I wish they would do that more often. That makes it a lot easier. Alright, we'll fight you for real. See what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I don't... I don't get it! What the hell? Way am I facing? Nope. Oh, it's like if I dodge one, I get hit by the other one. I, I really don't get it. I've never been able to dodge this shit. Yes, Soul of a Giant, Forgotten Key. And this is like a uh, Ring of Giant plus one or something. Which is poise, and which is nice. It's pretty much like the Wolf Ring. Alright, now I have to go back up and then come back down, but not as far down. You'll see. Upsy Daisy. Ah, uh, here we go. Actually, I don't really need to talk to this guy. Uh, I really just needed the key. Let's 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 leave. Okay, so the reason I needed that key, whoa, was to go up here 
and into this door. There's some lovely items in here. One of which, if I remember correctly, is a staff. A staff that I would very much like to use. No. Ooh, Dragon Talon. Oh, nice. Okay. I. That is a key for the DLC area, the first DLC area. In the original Dark Souls 2, you would just be given the keys upon having the DLC automatically. There we go. The branch. That's what I want. This is an awesome... I'll, this is my favorite staff. It's just pretty cool. It's got faster casting speed. It's not the most powerful staff, but... It's decent, and it's very fast. Well, like I was saying, uh, Scholar places the DLC keys in the world, actually, which I do like. It makes more sense. I just haven't memorized where they are yet. Now, unlike Dark Souls 1, I actually have to upgrade my catalyst. I knew you'd be around soon. So let's go ahead and do that. Upgrade my Witch Tree branch. Thankfully, it's only uh, Titanite Shards. I've got plenty. Oh, I don't have enough chunks. I need one more chunk. Hmm. The Staff of Wisdom is a better staff, but I'm not going to have that high of uh, intelligence to use it. And I kind of want to save my Twinkling for other things. I'll be around. The Witch Tree Branch will suffice quite nicely, though. Let us upgrade our level. You are blessed with a myriad of souls. Oh, yeah, I got the rot now. Bearer of the curse. Make your way to the castle. Sure. I'll do that. Level. Let me see. I need 18, 20. Nice. I think I'm going to go for some a little bit of attunement next time so I can get another spell slot. And, oh yeah, I need to burn my bone dust before I forget again. I've been pretty good about it this time around. Interestingly enough. <laughs> and, whoops, let's attune that great magic weapon here. My goal is to be able to use Crystal Soul Spear on this guy. In which, um, I think... I, I think it's possible to save enough spices to bring the, the cost of it down to 40. Like a regular soul spear, but I, I'm not too sure about that. I think the min I was reading a little bit about it the other day, and the minimum you can bring it down to is 10. But it didn't say anything about the most amount you can use on any single spell. So if, I don't know if you had like 50 that you can bring crystal soul spear all the way down to 10. Not like that would be very practical, because uh, it kind of... The damage is sort of dependent on your intelligence anyway. But that's the plan for this build. And uh, this has been a good episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time when we make our way to Drangle Castle. Adios.